Hello friends welcome back this is Omit from Magnet and in this video you will going to get a free element 3D model that is this awesome looking radio tower. So first take a look how to download this. So I put the link in the description once you go to the link you will find this page and here you can click here that is the download as zipped if you want this file as a zip file and it will download your file. So after complete the download you will get this file that is the radio tower zip file so you have to extract it. So once you extract it you will find this folder and this folder contain the all asset that is this obj model that is the actual model and the emilton e3d files and that is the texture folder so in there you will find all the textures for this model. So all you have to do is to just copy this radio tower folder and paste it to your element 3d model directory. So whatever it is in general this model directory present in documents so you will find your actual directory and just paste it to the model folder. So once you complete the installation let's open after effects. So here in we are in after effect so first we create a new composition. So the composition may be 1920 by 800 and hit OK and now create a new solid. So in this solid we are applying the element. So go to the effect and presets and under video copilot the element and go to the scene setup. So here is the radio tower model and I save two uh, different types uh, presets so here is the two types but you will get only one and once you inside the element 3d 3d UI just click the radio tower model and you will get this So that look nice and you will get some lights and I am using the video copilot rooftop kit for these lamps or light and that look awesome I mean this is look nice. So this model is pre textured so but if if any case if you can find any texture in its place you can assign it like there are so many texture panels here other other objects and other groups so if there are any texture missing you will put it manually so here is all the texture panels and you also get that all textures in the downloaded folders so you will just put the or assign the textures in the respective slots and you will get your model ready so that is the model so let's hit ok so first we create a camera okay. so place our model here or maybe we can change the surface texture so go to the scene setup uh, maybe we use some metallic textures like that one and maybe we enable the reflection I mean enable the reflection for the plane so first select the plane and enable the mirror surface reflection here okay. and hit ok so that look nice for now so first we create a new light maybe the spotlight the color is white and hit ok and change the position and go to the element layer and go to the render setting maybe enable the shadow and change it to ray traced and again go to the ambient occlusion and also enable this and change it to ray trace as well 
and maybe we decrease some settings here like the intensity and also go to the advanced option go to the light influence and flow fog and that's look nice so as you can see this is very nice looking model that is a radio tower model and you can use it a, any kind of video you want so so I think uh, you like this model and if you like this model go and download this and there is also a lamp so I'm going to show you how to use this lamp as well so maybe we first uh, disable this spotlight and go to the element layer and go to its utilities and select this this area and just generate a null object so this null object represent the actual position of the light so now we go to the spotlight again and press p and we already have the position so we don't have to press p but we have to press p for this null object to bring the position value just copy this and paste it to here okay and now enable this light and now we go to its rotation or maybe position and and also go, maybe we go to this rotation to just rotate it okay so now you can see a good looking street light here so maybe we can use another plugin to make it right so go to the new and solid and go to the effect and presets and here we get the rg trap code if you install the rg trap code plugin suit or uh, go to the, the last lux so now go to the spotlight settings here go to the distance and decrease the intensity okay and increase the distance so you will get a nice looking street light as well and also you can use another light maybe we use a parallel light for this and hit ok and place it here maybe or maybe another side okay so that look nice or maybe we can use another light that is the ambient light and the intensity may be 40% and hit ok so it will hit the entire scene as well so that is the model for today and i hope you like this model so if you like this model go and download this and use it in your own videos and once you complete anything by using this model please share with me so i can see this so I hope you like this so it is a very short video so I just wanted to share this model with you so that's it for today and we will see in the next video so till then take care and bye bye